Hi, my name is Beth and I work for the Monroe County Library System. I'm an electronic resources technician and I'd like to talk to you about some of our downloadable resources and show you how to use them. Today, I'd like to focus on Libby, also known as OverDrive, and show you how to use the app. The Libby app houses the Woodlands downloadable collection which can be accessed from any computer. But if you're on a mobile device, you'll want to use the Libby app because it's designed for mobile browsing. We're going to start by going to the App Store and searching for Libby. You might also hear OverDrive mentioned when we talk about the Woodlands Downloadable Library. Depending on what kind of device you have, different apps are available. Some older devices don't have the ability to download Libby, so you'll have to use OverDrive. I recommend if your device offers both, like mine, that you use Libby because it's easier to use and more updated. But both apps work great for accessing the material. So I'm going to go to my homepage. I already have Libby downloaded. To sign up for an account, it walks you right through the process. It will ask you to search for your library. You want to make sure you're connected to the Monroe County Library System in Monroe, Michigan. There are other library systems in other parts of the country that have Monroe County Library System as their name. It will ask you to put in your library card and you'll be ready to browse. So when I open my Libby app, it takes me to my shelf. You can see here that I have two books checked out. It's letting me know that one of them is expiring soon. I can click read with to open the book and start reading it if I would like. And to get to this area, it's the little bookcase at the bottom, that's your shelf. If I click on the library card there at the bottom, that takes me to the main landing page for the Woodlands Downloadable Library. I wanted to point out here that magazines are listed. These are semi-new to Libby. These used to be in RB Digital, but that resource has been retired. So there are lots of magazines in here you can read. Depending on the device, it might be easier to read these on your computer with a bigger screen, but they are available. There's no limits on checkouts for those. We also have under extras, we have the great courses, which also used to be housed in RB Digital. The great courses are college level, uh, professional instructed courses. Um, you can learn how to play chess. You can travel to different parts of the world. There's workout material, there's cooking. Basically, all, all learning material, if you want to expand your horizons, pick up a new hobby, that's what the great courses would be for you. You get a seven-day pass to check out, and in seven days, you can watch as many videos as you would like. We do offer four seven-day checkouts a month, so you can basically watch videos all month long. If you keep scrolling down, you will get recommended feature titles from librarians. Um, they have um, rotating collections based on things going on highlighted there on that main page. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and just show you there's lots of ways you can search and filter material on Libby. You can also set your preferences so that you only see audiobooks or ebooks depending on your preferences. If you click subjects, you can look for certain genres. So if you really like, let's see, we've got Christian fiction here. So if you're looking for a particular genre of book, you can click that and scroll through the collections. If it says place hold, you will get on the waiting list and they will email you when it's ready. Or if it says borrow, it's ready for immediate download. The Libby Library works through the downloadable library collection of Woodlands, which functions like the physical library. We only have so many copies of each digital item, so if it's all checked out, you just get on the waiting list and you'll get an email when it's ready to pick up. So if I want Truly Madly Deeply, I just click Place Hold, and my card comes up, and I click Place Hold, and now I'm on hold for the item.
So I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to find one that's immediately available. Here we go. Someone like you. I'll click borrow. And click borrow. And now I can open the book, I can keep browsing, or I can go back to my shelf. I'm going to keep browsing. And it takes me back to that page that I was on. So I'll click back to go to all subjects. So you've got lots of different options there depending on what you like to read. The other fun thing I want to show you is this little clock at the bottom. If you click that, it keeps your reading history in Libby, which is something we get asked a lot in the physical library. What did I return last week? What have I read lately? We don't keep any of that information for your privacy, but these downloadable resources do keep your histories, and it's really fun if you want to go back and reread something or you didn't finish it. It will actually hold your spot. Say you're listening to an audiobook and you don't get to finish it and it's on hold for someone else. When you re-download, it keeps your spot. So the timeline here is pretty fun to see what you've used in the downloadable resources. So I hope you enjoy reading or listening on the Libby app, and please let us know if you have any questions.